In this video today, we're going to talk about a new tool that we've created called the MBS View Creator. This is a metal building project that has been imported in from MBS or metal building software using slide rule here into Tecla Structures. Now, one thing that's a little bit different in creating your views for generating your erection drawings in metal buildings versus conventional steel is that you're going to be generating a lot of your views from the outside of the building looking in. So we would have our two side wall views and then we would have two end wall views looking from the outside of the building in. Then one other key difference here is that a lot of the rigid frame or elevation views, they are cut from the left to right instead of the right to left. So here, for instance, if I get into a plan view, we're going to look at that when you choose the grid and you use the right click, create view along grid lines option. So this is the out of the box command in Tecla. When you use this option here, this is pretty common for conventional steel. And all of the views are going to be created from the south looking to the north or bottom up, or the views are going to be created looking from the right to the left. And in the metal building industry, you're going to be looking from the outside of the building in on the exterior, and then you're going to be cutting your interior ridge lines from the left to the right. So it's a little bit different. So rather than having to manually come up here and create individual plan views, as well as elevation views using two points, um, or having to come in here and load up multiple view properties over and over, and just going through that tedious effort, we have this tool that will help you do that. So let's just go back to a 3D isometric view. We will launch the tool. All right, now all we need to do is come over here and press the Create Views button. That will then go through and create all of the plan, elevation, and isometric views that we need. And it creates two sets of views, one set of views for the structural framing, and then another set of views that has the sheeting and trim shown on them. So once that's done, we'll just close the tool, we'll go up to our view list, and you can see here that a variety of different views that have been created. This is really valuable in that you won't forget creating any of the views that you need, and all of the naming convention and the tedious process of cutting those views is all taken care of by the tool. Now, let's just go ahead and take a look at end wall framing line one. So we're gonna be looking here at this end of the building, grid line A should be on the left and grid line P should be on the right. So let's just open that up. Now, when we look at that, we can see grid line A, grid line P, and we can see that it has been cut at that particular grid line. Now, what we can then do is if we open up the end wall framing with the sheeting and trim, which is right here, we'll just go ahead and double click on that. Now we have this open. So the difference here is that the sheeting and trim is shown in this view. And the reason why that is, is if I double click on the background, there is no view filter set here. Now, if I go over to the other view, just the framing view, and double click on its background, we're gonna see here that the MBS no sheeting or trim filter has been set on this particular view. And again, these settings are saved away in the MBS firm folder that we've created. Now I'll go ahead and cancel out these dialog boxes and let's close these two views down. And then if I go back to my view list, I just wanna show you that there's an isometric and isometric with sheeting. So sometimes when you create a cover sheet direction drawing, you wanna show the structure as well as the sheeting and trim. So if we open up isometric, that's going to have the uh, just the structural only shown and it's kind of rotated here. So that way you can easily place that onto an erection drawing. And then if we have the isometric with sheeting and open up that, it will also be created at that same orientation and rotation. So that way you can nicely place a sheeting view as well as just a framing view on the same cover sheet if you'd like to. So you can see here that there's a lot of time saved in basically creating your views, again, making sure you don't forget any views, um, going through and uh, eliminating a lot of that tedious process that's involved in just manually creating your views, but the views are created exactly like you want them from a metal building perspective. To learn more about pricing and access to the tool, please reach out to me, Chris Kiak at Kiak Technology Solutions. If you like our content, then please subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to press the alerts button in order to be notified when content is released.